Welcome to Native Engineering. Today we are doing the second exercise based on our previous lesson which was angular motion, engineering science and four. The exercise that we are doing is an exercise I've taken from a question paper that was written on the 3rd of April 2019. It's question number three and it reads as follows. A racing car with mass of 1.8 tons races around a circular track with a diameter of 120 meters at a speed of 280 kilometers per hour and covers a distance of 45 meters and then the questions they say question number one the angular displacement of the car is and then we are given options to choose from the second question they say the angular velocity of the car is we are also given options to choose from and this is the information that we are given we are given the mass of the of the car we are given the diameter of the track, the velocity of the car, and the distance which it travels. And the first question they say, the angular displacement of the car is, the angular displacement, theta, is 3.1.1. Since we have the linear displacement and we have the diameter of the track, from here we can get the radius which is 60 meters. And then we will use this formula that says, the linear displacement is equal to the angular displacement times the radius. And from here, we make this the subject of the formula, which will be S divided by R. And our linear displacement is 45. Our radius is 60, which will give us an angular displacement of 0 0.75 rads. And this answer corresponds to the answer that is in number B. So you will write number B. And the second question, 3.1.2. They say the angular velocity of the car is... Same story. We have the linear velocity. We can convert, we can convert this to meters per second and it will give us... 77.778 meters per second and then we know linear velocity it's equals to angular velocity times the radius we are looking for this so we make it the subject of the subject of the formula and we get a formula that says the linear velocity divided by the radius and Linear velocity, 77.778 divided by the radius, which is 60. And we get an angular velocity of 1.296 rads per second, which corresponds to the answer that is in number C number c so you will just write c and we go to the second part of the question a machine has a torque of 228 newton meter at its spindle the diameter of the spindle is eight is 68 centimeters and the rotational frequency of the spindle is 13.5 rads per second and then the questions they say first question the power exerted is and then we are given options and the second question they say if the efficiency of the machine is 94 percent the input power of the machine is and we are also given options and they say the third question the angular velocity of the machine is and this is the information that we are given we are given the torque of the machine we are given the diameter of the spindle which is 68 centimeters and we are given they said this it's the rotational frequency but looking at the si unit of this value it says rads per second we know rotational frequency is given in revs per second which is r per s so this is the si unit of an angular velocity so we cannot say this is a rotational frequency we will say this is our angular velocity since 
our angular velocity is the one that is given in rads per second. Then we continue. Question number one, 3.2.1. The power exerted is, we have a formula to calculate power that says, power is equals to T times the angular velocity. Our torque is 228 times our angular velocity, which is 13.5. And this will give us a power of 3078 watts. And these correspond with the answer in number B. So you will just write B. And then we go to the second question, which is 3.2.2. They say, if the efficiency of the machine is 94%, the input power of the machine is. We know the formula for efficiency is input, it's output, divided by input, times 100 we have the efficiency the output and the 100 so we will say 90 we substitute 94 it's equals to the output we have as 3078 input that's what we are looking for times 100 and then input power it's equals to 3274 3274.468 watts which correspond with the answer that is in number C and then we go to the third question they say the angular velocity of the machine is angular velocity we are already given is 3.2.3 .3. and this correspond with the answer that is in number a therefore you will just write a and this is how you go about answering these questions and that's basically the end of our lesson i will see you on the next lesson